Hey, do you like Hotline Miami 2? I'm sure you do. If you watched my guide on all achievements for Hotline Miami 1, then you might find this video useful too. Why else would you be playing that game over and over, trying to get that sweet 100% completion badge on your profile to sh** on your friends whilst they still struggle with that A plus achievement? Obviously, don't. But hey, I've got the exact guide right here to get all the achievements. Don't tell anyone. Just follow along and I'll guide you to that sweet 100. Let's roll. We'll begin chronologically. By the way, timestamps are in the description. The first on the list is Combo Beginner. Get a 5x combo. I'm pretty sure that everyone has this. Combo Intermediate. Get a 10x combo. Combo Master. Get a 15x combo. Combo God. Get a 20x combo. Honestly, my only tip for getting high combos would be to simply be fast and efficient. That's all. Run around like a headless chicken trying to find his brothers and killing everyone in sight. Fantastic! Unlock each fan as a playable character. This automatically unlocks it during the storyline. Snake Charmer. Unlock all the snake masks for Jake. This is also a storyline achievement. What you leave for your sons. Unlock all of the sons' techniques. Storyline achievement. These are my rifles. These are my guns. Unlock all weapons for Beard. Storyline achievement 2. Karma. Die a thousand times. Simply time consuming. This comes automatically throughout playing the game, grinding for the other achievements. Family business. Clear a level with each of the sun's techniques. This works for any sun's levels, just replay them using a different technique. Fanatic. Clear a level with each fan. Pretty much the same as the sun. Snakes on a head. Clear a level with each snake mask. Self-explanatory. Percussive maintenance. This will unlock over time, but if you really want to get this one fast, then hop into scene 3, hard news. There's a lot of them where you, that you can destroy simply by shooting at them. Don't let the anger get the best of you. Clear each of the rider's levels without killing anyone. This one took a little bit of time honestly as some of the levels can get slightly annoying. But take your time, there's no rush. Follow the script. Do as the director says. Now, this one might just seem a little bit confusing at the start, but really just like follow the instructions at the bottom of the screen for in Night Midnight Animal and you should be able to achieve it. I'm coming in and I'm unarmed. Clear the level, homicide, without using firearms slash guns. Pretty easy. Dead silent. Clear out the level subway without the gang leader seeing you. You'll know you'll have failed the achievement once he makes this banging noise. This motherfucker just saw you. Restart. Assassin's Cred. Finish the first floor of No Mercy with the silenced pistol that you start with. It took me a few tries since I realized the silenced pistol that you're playing with in the start has an entire mag of 12 bullets and it's exactly as much enemies as there are in that first floor to get the achievement, so I'd say you must be precise. One shot missed, and the Bruh. achievement is missed too. Got your back. Shoot two enemies whilst doing the chainsaw execution. Use the Alex and Ash mask. It works simply when you have around three enemies, knock one down, do the execution, and kill the other two running at you. May take a few tries, yet easy. Extra, extra, read all about it. Obtain all the newspapers. This achievement is similar to the puzzle pieces you had to find in the first game, so it will take a bit of time. However, the order you obtain them in is not so important. Act 1, Scene 2. Intro in the bathroom. Act 2, Scene 6. Intro on the table. Act 2, Scene 7. Outro, first floor, and the right side of the house. Act 3, Scene 10. Intro in the middle of the room on the bar. Act 3, Scene 11. Intro in the kitchen on the table. Act 4, Scene 13. Intro in the middle of the house on desk. Act 5, scene 17. Intro, on the round table. Act 5, scene 20. Intro, on the bed. Act 6, scene 22. Intro, on the desk, next to the elevator. And finally, act 6, scene 22. Outro, on the desk, right before ending. A box full of sharp objects. Use every weapon in the game. This is a little bit tedious, considering that there are completely over 30 usable weapons in the game. Baseball bat, police baton, butterfly knife, chain, chainsaw, fire axe, glass bottle, broken glass bottle, golf club, hammer, glass shard, hockey stick, katana, lead pipe, machete, nunchaku, skateboard, taser, toothbrush, those were all the melees, now onto the firearms, AK, Uzi, silenced pistol, shotgun, pistol, nail gun, MP5, revolver, machine gun, M16, I just realized that this was called Mendoza, and this, FAMAE, F-A-M-A-E, Flammenwerfer, double barreled shotgun, sniper rifle, and the last one, a throwable, which can be found in act, <sighs> what the fuck? which f***ing act is it, oh my f***ing sake, oh, uh, and the last one, a throwable, which can be found in Act 4, Scene 15, in the bomb room. I think it was Act 4. Phew, that was a lot. Let's keep on going. 
Now come the hardest achievements in the game, but after them, we've still got three secret ones, so stay with me. 1800 God damn achievement. Get A plus on all levels. The achievement I made a video on, labeling it the hardest. People disagreed on that, hence why I made the next video completing the game on hard mode, saying that hard mode actually takes a bit of a steeper learning curve in order to fully complete it. A plus is simply an achievement which requires the fast and efficient route. However, when done with both, I'd say from my personal experience that they are equally balanced in terms of what's harder and what's easier. So both have their reliefs and challenges. I don't want to start another d debate about it, okay? 1800 get help. Completing the game on hard mode. Understandable. Well, my only advice for hard mode is to not stress yourself out at an instant just because it takes too long. You can't lock onto enemies, there are half the bullets that the guns had when playing on normal, and if you drop a firearm and pick it up again, the gun will have, again, half of what you had before. There are more enemies on every level, and you're playing through the levels inverted. As well as I'm pretty sure that the guns are even less accurate when in hard mode. Oh, and also, don't try to figure out how to play the levels easier by flipping your monitor and inverting controls. Just do it. I believe in you. Don't take the easy way out. Face the fear and do it. Alright? Genocide. Accumulate a total kill number of 50,000. Eesh, that is quite a lot, isn't it? And people yet debate this and shit on me, explaining that this is the hardest achievement that's fucking... Honestly, it, this just takes time. It's nothing hard to do. It doesn't require as much skill as the A-plus in hard mode. It's simply like, it, it requires big patience, okay? I got it throughout playing in hard mode and it worked really well. By the way, a good tip which one of my members of the Discord server said, like a description, is that you can actually check how many kills you are away from completing this achievement by going into options and clicking achievements. I believe this only works for PC, but I'm not quite sure. Check it out for yourselves. Shout out Incrememe. All right, here we have the final three achievements, which are a bit hidden and not instantly possible to be found. The first one is the Bar of Broken Heroes. This is the achievement slash Easter egg, where in the intro of Act 4, Scene 13, before heading out, answer the phone in Evan's house. You will see that someone has accepted the ad you placed, offering 200 bucks for information in order for Evan to complete his book. You will enter a bar where you will meet the infamous Biker, washed up, seemingly defeated. He speaks about 50 blessings, but that's for another time. Doing all of this will give you the achievement. Nuclear Waste. Knock down all of the cardboard cutouts in the level Homicide. Kind of hard to understand at the start, but just look for those that look like very, very narrow objects and kind of look vertically st stood up. And just run into them, or shoot them down. Stare into the abyss. This achievement made me think, damn, this is 50 blessings. And, uh... Yeah, <laughs> this level was just bizarre at first hand. To get to this level as a playable level further on, first you must clear out the final room in Withdrawal, the final level of Jake. If you die before you clear it, you will be dragged into the room and killed. If not, you'll be greeted by the patriotic man of 50 blessings and taken somewhere safer, quote unquote. Jake sh- Jake shits on a chair. <laughs> Jake sits on a chair and the patriotic man leaves the room. Whilst he's gone, there's a floppy disk on the table. Click on it to grab it before he comes back and you'll unlock Abyss. The level itself isn't too hard, but sure is bizarre. And now, finally, the worst achievement in history of- I'm kidding. You did it! You have finally 100%ed Hunt Mami 2. And as always, I am thankful if you found this video useful. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. And I will see you all again. Stay safe. Mwah.